let's go ahead and pull that up. Pull that up for the people. Pull it up, man. Pull man. All right. What we got, Daniel? France enshrines abortion as a constitutional right as the world marks International Women's Day. A constitutional right. Murder is now a constitutional <laughs> right. <laughs> Mur- hey, hey, this like the purge. Right. Yep. The purge is now legalized. Hey, Man. the box will be liberated. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's read it. France inscribed the guaranteed right to abortion in its Constitution Friday in a world first and a powerful message of support to women around the globe on International Women's Day. Mm, on in a, so on International Women's Day, right. we're going to liberate y'all so that you will never reproduce another woman. Right, right. right. Free. This is crazy. Mm. Hey, they already cutting out future International Women's Day. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. That is crazy. Hold on. Give me that evil abound, man, in the last days in, in Ezra. Yeah. Evil abound. Uh, evil's increase, I think it says. Yes. Yep. Uh, second Ezra's 14. Yeah. Yep. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Because where are we at in this world where you where you legalize this stuff? How how much worse can it oh, get? Obviously. How much worse can it get? This is crazy. This is crazy. Second, yep. Second Ezra chapter five and verse two. Mm-hmm. But iniquity shall be increased above that there which now thou seest. What? Read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Second Ezra chapter five and verse two. Uh huh. But iniquity. Iniquity is sin. Iniquity is sin. The precept of Psalms thirty-eight and eighteen. Read it again. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, uh-huh. or that thou has heard long ago. So these are the times that we living in. To the fact that you can legalize murder and everybody's going to celebrate it. Because you know why they did it? They did it to celebrate another evil day, which is the Women's Day. they giving the, the, the woman power, which is funny because it's on the same day as Purim, which we know in Ezra's where he mm, said, uh, give me that, give me that, in, uh, give me that in uh, Esther, where uh, he said, um, we got to, we got to issue out a law because your wife was disobedient. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they they just, that's that's crazy. I just thought about that. They had International Women's Day on Purim. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hey, damn. Hey, that's, that's some, the opposite of yeah, us. Yeah, that's some crafty counsel. They is the opposite of us. Mm-hmm. You got it? The book of Esther, chapter 1 and verse 17. Mm-hmm. For this deed, for this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women. Uh-huh. So that they shall despise their husbands. Right. So what happened? The woman did not listen to uh, the king. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, if this goes forth, this is going to ruin the natural order of the households in the whole kingdom. And guess what we're seeing today? That's what we're seeing today before our eyes. You got women in, in government. You got women in leadership positions. All of these things are happening is ruining the order of the household and destroying the natural floor of things. And it, and 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 they are they explain to you exactly what was going to happen. Read it again. For this deed of for for this deed of the queen. Start shall, at 15 matter of fact. First says I'm sorry. Esther chapter 1 verse 15. Mm-hmm. What shall we do Start unto Start at verse 12. Re, uh, we got to make sure the people know what we talking about. Read that first. Verse 12. But queen but the queen Vashti refused She to, what? But she refused to come at the king's commandment. That's all we need. She refused to do what the king told her to do. Mm-hmm. And because of that action, there's a reaction that's, that, that, that they say we cannot allow that to happen. Now jump to 15. Verse 15. What shall we do unto the queen Vashti according to the law? Uh-huh. Because she hath not performed the commandment of the king Ahasuerus mm-hmm. by the chamberlain. So they, they made a, scri- uh, a swift decision. Right. They said, hey, she ain't listening. Right. What are we going to do according to the law, King? Mm-hmm. Because this is not how we're going to roll in our in our kingdom. Mm-mm. This ain't how it's going to happen. Read. And Memucan answered before the king and the princes, Vashti the queen hath not done wrong to the king only, uh-huh. but also to all the princes. She disrespected all the princes. And to all the people uh-huh. that are in all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus. Read. For this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women, 
so that they shall despise their husbands mm. in their eyes. Uh -huh. When it shall be reported, the king Ahasuerus commanded Vashti the queen to be brought in before him, but she came not. So, they understood that you can't let no woman run nothing. Right. You let the woman run something, you give her itch, she'll take it a mile. She was saying, my body, my choice. Right, exactly. <laughs> But it's funny mm -hmm. that 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 on International Women's Day we mm -hmm. celebrate in Purim, which is when we said, "Hey, nah, women ain't get down like that right. no more, right. no more. We gonna we gonna make sure she ain't never queen. She right. ain't got no title, nothing right. no more." Mm. <laughs> the Persians knew what it was. They said, yeah. "Hell no." Nah. Feminine is all <laughs> right. head. <laughs> right, that's what it was. But let's get back to the article, man. Hey, hey, Cap, hold yeah. hold on. Yeah. I got I got another one. We I'm got done. we got because this is the thing. It's a lot of simps out here, right? You know, and and this was like this is an anti simp scripture. Mm -hmm. You know, the men, because what a lot of, because hey, you hear it like we'll be on Clubhouse, and you'll hear a, a brother will step up, right, to protect uh, to protect the wicked woman. You understand? So I just want to read one more. Go yeah. to uh, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah forty four. Jeremiah forty four, and. Uh, where is it? 15. 15. Yeah, I think so. I think so. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44 and yep. verse 15. Yep. Then all the men which knew their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude. A what? A great multitude. Go ahead. Even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt and Pathos answered mm -hmm. Jeremiah, saying, as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord. I want y'all to listen to this carefully. The prophet is prophesying in the name of the Lord. Mm. And the women, a great multitude, said, as for the word that you bring in from God, go ahead. We will not hearken unto thee. We ain't listening to that. Mm. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't listening to that. And you know what? What do we get today? Now we getting written in the Constitution. Right. We got the right to kill babies. Right. Man. Go ahead. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth. Whatever we say we gonna do, that's what's go that's how it's going down. Right. Damn. Hey, Kat, you know what they you know what they uh say today? Happy wife, happy life. Right. Hell no. Nah. That's what that translates nah. to. <laughs> yeah, the Edomites be saying that. Yeah. I'll be hearing nah. some brothers say that. And I'll just be laughing like, yeah. all right. Nah. I guess I guess the sound effect agrees with it. Bro he, yeah, he just yeah, dry yeah, about yeah. it. Bro <laughs> Bro Damn. Brothers where? Brothers in the world? Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. I nah, I rebuke the hell out of him. Oh, man. <laughs> Bring <laughs> forth the Rangers. Yeah. Go ahead. Real? Hey, hey, hold oh, on. You got some? Oh, you got more? Oh, okay, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Bring it out. Jeremiah 31, 22. Bring it out. What we're seeing right here is not normal, y'all. Right. It's not normal. This is a new thing. Right. Understand that. That You know how we can validate that this is a new thing? Because they just now putting this in their constitution. Right. Mm -hmm. France has been around a long time. Right. Long time. Been around a long time. Europe been around a long time. All these countries over here. And it. this is new. Go ahead, read Cat, why did not why they didn't do that while we was in slavery? Right. There you go. Mm. Uh -oh. There you wow. go. Nah, when no abortions then. No go ahead. The book of Jeremiah. <laughs> you, you, you can't be on the show after this week. You got to do, you got to do the sounds. Go ahead. Jeremiah <laughs> chapter thirty one verse twenty two. Uh -huh. How long wilt thou go about, O thou back, backsliding daughter? Uh -huh. For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. Hold on, the Lord what? The Lord, for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. Uh -huh. A woman shall come past a man. A what? A woman shall come past a man. A woman shall come past a man. What is that called? How does she come past a man? Mm. Woman's rights. Mm. Now everything is predicated and, and, and catered to the woman. That's a new thing on the earth. That is new. For all you men out there that think you're supposed to be uh, simping for your wife, that's a new thing on the earth. Mm. The woman... And women know that the woman was made for the man. Right. But now that that, that whole script don't flip. What the men can you imagine <laughs> Moses uh, uh uh taking a knee to a woman with our forefathers getting on a knee with a ring? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that? That's an American that's an that. American doctrine, y'all. Right. We Not gotta get out that. of that mindset. Not only that, a a, a woman, because this is why they got mad at Kevin Samuels. Yep. A woman 
that got three, four kids, three, four baby daddies mm. wanting a high value. You're right, man. a high value man. High value mm. man. And, okay. and don't see nothing wrong with it. You, you say, can you imagine that, right? Yeah. Go to Second Kings chapter eleven, verse fifteen. <laughs> Bring it out. Yeah, we had somebody try to imagine it before. Yeah, let's see how this turned out. Things written before. Right. Second <laughs> Kings chapter eleven and verse fifteen. The book of Second Kings chapter eleven and verse fifteen. 15. Mm-hmm. But Jehoda the priest commanded the captain, captains of the hundreds and the officers and the hosts, and said unto them. Have her forth without the ranges. So we had a wicked woman, a right. wicked, mm-hmm. evil black woman right. mm-hmm. that was supposedly ruling for a little bit of time. So he said, have her forth without the ranges because she's going to get put to death. Read. Mm-hmm. And him that followeth and her. And who? And him that followeth her. And the simp that follows the wicked black woman. Read. Kill with the sword. Do what? Mm-hmm. Kill with the sword. Kill with the sword. Read. For the priest had said, let her not. Be slain in the house of the Lord. Just don't do it next to the sanctuary because this place <laughs> right, is holy. Right, right. So right. take the trash out. All right. Damn. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> all right, let's get into the article. Go ahead. So it is how you must always have your mind thinking forwardly. That's why the scripture is saying, saying, read again, Captain. Where there is no vision. If you don't have the vision to think beyond where you are, the people perish. You will perish. You understand? So we must continue to move forward. <laughs> Can't rid of the screen. A woman from Argentina, a couple from Miami, and a man from Zekia were among the those gathered on the polished cobblestones of of Place Vendome in Paris to watch the historic event unfurl in an outdoor ceremony open to open the public. Women in the crowd recalled their own abortions or lifelong battles for reproductive rights. How is a, an abortion reproduction? Yeah, that's the subtraction. <laughs> Go ahead. They, kept, they said they recalled their abortions like they were having a moment. Together. Right. Uh, damn, like, they had a moment. They called their sacrifices to mine. Right. Damn. Damn. Wow. Hey, hey, it's like that video from uh, yesterday from Bishop's class where, uh, no, from Deacon's class. I think it was Deacon's class where the woman said that she was a negative two. Oh, you remember that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, yeah. The woman oh, said wow. she's a negative two. The negative two, two was like, what? <laughs> she he says, said, I, I'm re-virginized. The Lord, the Lord says, excused the one she uh she made. <laughs> so he said, so he took away seven and gave you two more. So you basically got two passes. She was like, no. She said, she no. says she believes in God now because oh, she's re-virginized. Okay, okay. I'm you, re-virginized. Yeah. You know what that is? That's the spirit of Proverbs seven. Yeah, she's making provisions. Yep. Damn. Future Damn, that's what that is. That's where that spirit comes from. She, got two more. <laughs> yep. she get two more before she get married. Damn. Wow. Re-virginized. Go ahead. While abortions is a deeply divisive issue in the United States, it's legal in nearly all of the year, all of Europe, and overwhelmingly supported in France. Overwhelmingly <laughs> supported in France. Damn. Go where, ahead. Where it's seen more as a question of public health rather than politics. French legislators approved the Constitution Amendment on Monday in a seven eighty. To 72 vote. No, no, look at that. 780 say aye, 72 say no. Go ahead. That was backed by many far right lawmakers. That's crazy. All right, I think there's a video. Scroll down. Scroll down a little bit. I think there's a video. Uh, it was, on top. Or was it on top? Yeah. Okay. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hey, so basically, 43. France is saying that, hey, we got this thing right. Meanwhile, USA, y'all struggling with it. Right. I'm going to mm. show you how to do this. Put it in the Constitution. France guarantees constitutional right to abortion. Versailles, France. Lawmakers overwhelmingly approve bill to enshrine abortion rights in France's and look Constitution. Who they got up there. Damn woman. The damn yeah, white smiling. woman. Smiling. <laughs> Wow. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Pour l'adoption, 780. French National Assembly. Go ahead. Contre 72. 
Hmm. Let me read it. Yeah, go ahead. This makes France the only country to explicitly guarantee a woman's right to voluntarily terminate a pregnancy. Guarantees it. Damn. Go ahead. Celebration. Yep. There were jubilance. Was it? Yeah. There were jubilant scenes of ce- celebrations all over France. You heard what they was playing in the background, right? Uh uh-uh. uh. That's that Beyonce song, "Who Run the World, Girls." Oh, wow. Wow. Damn. Hey, y'all know what's funny to me? This is what's funny to me. Does everybody not know they all came into the earth <laughs> one way? You Man. celebrating the fact that you don't want nobody else to right. come onto the yeah. earth again. Give me that Genesis real quick about being <laughs> fruitful and multiply. What's crazy mm-hmm. is you you celebrating the destruction of yourself. Yeah. Like you don't want the earth to continue doing what it's doing? Cap, they celebrate birthdays. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Damn, that's a heavy that's right. heavy. heavy. That's heavy right there. Now they're celebrating the termination of birthdays. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Damn. Used to celebrate birthdays. <laughs> Not no more. We don't want no more births. Damn. Y'all got that? Yes, sir. Read it. The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 28. Mm-hmm. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful. Do what? Be fruitful uh-huh. and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moving that moveth upon the earth. So God told us to be fruitful and multiply. This is how you know these kingdoms are not of God. Right, right. They put in law the exact opposite. They say, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. We don't want you to be uh, uh, fruitful and multiply. Mm-hmm. We want you to kill every opportunity you get. <laughs> right. Damn. <laughs> If you don't kill them in the fire, kill them in the furnace. Kill them while they're in the in the, in, the, in the belly. Go to go to Psalms one twenty seven and five. Yeah, this is wicked to say. Because the mindset is that um, you know, we want less people. The world's, you know, we ain't got enough food. We ain't got enough this. We ain't got enough right, that. Right. It's too hard for the for. The, well, okay, stop having sex. Right. But you still want to do what you want to do. Right. You want to have that pleasure, but you don't want the result of that. Mm. God's natural plan. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 127 and verse 5. And I'm going to show y'all that what the perception of having a lot of kids and all that, that's the wrong perception. That ain't what God says. Mm-hmm. God ain't never said that. Take, you got the call? Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question or comment? Where you calling from? Shalom, brothers. Um, um, my name is Joanna, and I'm calling from Texas. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, sis. Shalom. Uh, you all were speaking about the... Um, how this was a new thing, and it reminded me of that scripture in Romans. Uh, it's uh, chapter chapter one, verse twenty nine, and I guess twenty nine to thirty two. But but y'all can read twenty nine if you want to. Mm-hmm. What you want to bring out but on that? It says that uh, that uh, well, it's thirty. It says um, you want me to read it? No, no, no. I just I said what you want to bring out. What point did you want to make? Okay. It says inventors of evil mm. and how, how it, it reads like something that's from today. Right, 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 right. The, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. From 28 through, through uh, 32. No, I'm going to have a brother read it. I'm going to have a brother read it. I'm going to have a brother read it. Yeah, no, nah, you 100% correct. Yeah. Romans, Romans 1 30. Come on. Great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead. Read it. The book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 30. Uh-huh. Backbiters, haters of God, uh-huh. despiteful, proud. Boasters, inventors of evil things, mm. disobedient to parents. Mm. That yep, that's right, sis. Inventors of evil things. That's why we got new things on the earth today. Mm. That's a yes, great sir. point. All yes, praise. Sir. Thank you for calling in, sis. Thank y'all so much for all, all you do. All praises. So go back to that Psalms one twenty seven. The book of Psalm, chapter 127 and verse 5. Because, and what I'm about to do is I'm about to destroy the mindset that they have mm-hmm. uh, for people having kids. Because notice, it's always been black people that's had bigger families. Yep. Esau, and that's why when Esau does have a big family, they make a big deal out of it. Because they want to encourage them to, to do that. Yeah. You got the Dugan family that was in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. But they don't really roll like that. But Jake... We always had big. That's why we got family reunions. Because right. it's 10, 20 right. of us. We got uh, all these cousins, aunties, uncles. That's how it's always been. Because naturally, if you love your spouse, y'all going to y'all gonna have children. You want to keep reproducing yourself. 
That's a natural thing. Yeah. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 127, verse that 5. Had to take a deep breath like he finna go swimming. <laughs> verse 3. <laughs> verse 3. Lo, children are an inheritance of the Lord, uh-huh. and the fruit of the womb is his reward. And, and the fruit of the womb <laughs> is his reward. So it's a reward to have mm-hmm. something come out mm-hmm. of that woman. Right. But they saying that that's a curse. Right. You need to murder it, kill mm-hmm. it dead. This man is the exact opposite. That's why it says he's the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. All evil is set up inside of this man's head. Keep reading. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, Uh so are children of the youth. Read. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Read that again. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. And what does that let you know? The man... The man takes part in having children, whether you believe it or not. Because all these laws is based upon what the women want. Right. But God says that the man is happy when he has a lot of children. Why? Because when the order is correct, everything that woman does is to make sure that that man is pleased and happy. Right. And no righteous man is going to say, no, nah, I don't want another one of my uh, seed on the earth. Right. Nobody says that. Right. But the wicked, the evil, the liar, the deceiver is out there to tell us the opposite. Right. Got people out here celebrating and dancing because they can they can have death. Mm-hmm. But God said he ain't the he ain't, I'm not the God of the uh, the dead. dead. I'm not the, the God, God of the of, dead. Right. I'm the God of the living. Read that verse again. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. Uh huh. They shall not be ashamed. That what? They shall not be ashamed. But now if you have children, they say that's a bad thing. You, you, it's a shame you got two kids, three kids. They say, yes, bad, read. But they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. So, go ahead, Cap. Look, you're holding something. Well, I want to I wanna address something you just said yep. about the, the size of the families, mm-hmm. right? Now, you don't have to get it because I got another scripture, but you know when we read in uh, Exodus, when they put more bondage, harder bondage right. on us, we, we had, made more yep, babies. Yep, we we increased, right? Mm-hmm. Um, also, back in the 70s, mm-hmm. there was a show called The Waltons. Mm. The Waltons was like the only big natural family that mm. I've ever seen. They, they would have, uh, they had a whole bunch of kids, right? right? And um, then when you progressed, and this is for those of uh, my brothers and sisters that, you know, y'all was around to see these shows. You got uh, eight is enough, right? Right. Mm. That was a blended family, right? Then, then you had uh, the the Brady Bunch, another right. blended yep, family. Yep. They go. wasn't just making a whole bunch of babies right. like we right. did, yep. Yep. right? Yep. So now here's the crafty counsel, though. Get a uh, Matthew chapter two and read fifteen and sixteen. Okay. Here's the mm. crafty counsel. That's a good point, Cap. They always wanted to show their families big. Yeah. Then when it get to us, what was the what was the show with uh my my, my the, the my black shows? No, not my wife and kid. That was a good one. But the black shows, you got a single parent and one one child. Oh uh, yeah. The yeah, one with yeah. Kyla Pratt, I think her name. Yeah, yeah. Her and the pops. Yeah. yeah I don't remember. It's that. always just one yeah. one kid. With, with, uh, oh damn. Yeah, one on one. That one on one. Yeah, yeah. You got one on one. You got it's a whole bunch of other shows. You have yeah. one kid. Yeah, somebody said, good night, John Boy. Yeah, you was around. You see him <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead yeah. Read that. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 15. Uh-huh. And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Now watch this. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth and sent forth. And slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. So remember, leadership has been bringing this out for years now that the devil is wroth. He knows he has but a short time. So these these laws, they frame mischief by law, these laws that they're creating they are against us. Right. Mm-hmm. They are against us. So when you start seeing women having children in the future, it's gonna be like you know, I know it's something different about something different about you. Yeah. You know because they're making it popular 
to not have children. And they're putting that in their minds. And they're using, and we're going to show it, some of the most influential black women mm. to preach that message to our black daughters. Mm. Mm. Hey, Cap, just back you up on that real quick. You can go to Ezekiel 23. Because Psalms 127, it says, happy is he. Because mm -hmm. that's in righteousness. That's marriage. Right, bro. right. They put on this thing health issues. You realize right. they didn't list none. Mm -hmm. Right. And they always go to the extreme. What if I got raped? Right. And it's like, did you? <laughs> no, no. But what if? <laughs> right. But what if? I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? But this is where the spirit of that comes from. Uh, Ezekiel 23, verse 37. Mm -hmm. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, and verse 37. Uh -huh. That they have committed adultery. They did what? That they have committed adultery. They committed mm -hmm. adultery. Because anytime you break that covenant of marriage, you're promiscuous. Yep. There is a reward for it. Mm -hmm. But you want to conceal it, right? right? Read. And blood is in their hands. And blood is in their hands. Read. And their idols have And they, with their idols. And with their idols. Uh-huh. Have they committed adultery Read. and have also caused their sons whom they have bear unto me uh -huh. to pass for them through the fire? Through abortion. Mm -hmm. Because these sons and daughters they had was through what? Sin, iniquity, right? So these people, the whole fuel for all of this is, woman, you're loose. Your body is yours, so you could be a hoe mm -hmm. to make it plain. That's exactly what this is, but they hide it behind health issues. They hide it behind Oh, what if the sister got raped and all this other foolishness? Right, right, right. That's why the God, that's why the Lord said in Psalms 127, you're happy. Why? Because you married her so you can have children. That was the purpose of it. Right. But y'all all here just slapping hands and like we talking about <laughs> earlier, they're not even strapping up no more. Right. Because all right. of these stuff like you about to bring out, it ain't nothing about no, not not saying we justify no condoms or whatever like that to do, you know, break the laws of God, but they're not even doing that. Now it's just, I'm going to just either pop a pill or I'm going to just get scraped. Hey, you're getting a little ahead of your time. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> hey, hey, go ahead. Go ahead and play the impression of that video. <laughs> we got more to bring out. You're getting a little ahead of that. That's an excellent script, though. Bring that out. Press play. This is them. All woman. It's historical. We are all, as you see, very happy. And for us, it's a fundamental right, and it has to be in the Constitution because you can always change the law, and we have seen it with the United States, but also said? in other uh, European you countries. So, uh, you can yes, always change it's a step the law. forward, uh, huge one. Paul. She said you can always change the law. I'm going to show y'all something. Go to Second Ezra real quick. Second Ezra 9, I think it's 37. I'm going to show y'all something about God's laws. God's law don't change. Mm -hmm. God's law don't change. Yep. Yep. That's Second Ezra 9 37. And then I want Malachi 3 and 6. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse and 37. This is the difference between the Israelites and all other nations. Everybody else is flexible. Their ways are flexible. They change their over the years, this kingdom, that kingdom. They 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 wear this clothing, that clothing. No. Nah, the Israelites, we the same. We don't change. Read that. Notwithstanding, the law perisheth not. The what? The law perisheth not. Ain't no changing of God's laws. When he said pork is unclean unto you, mm -hmm. you ain't going to eat it. That's what it is. It's been done, deal. No, ain't no changing. Read. Notwithstanding, the law perisheth not, uh -huh. but remaineth in its force. But That's the right. law remains in force. Right. That's the difference between our laws and their laws. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between our religion and their religion. Right. What God set up from the beginning, when Moses went up and he gave them all the commandments, it wasn't just the ten, when he laid out all the instructions, God said, this is how it is. And the only thing that did change, guess what? Christ came and expounded to us exactly what he was going to change. Right. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, not one jot or one tittle shall mm. pass away right. mm -hmm. till all be fulfilled. For you Christians that want to change up the Bible, That's right. all ain't fulfilled, Negro. Mm -mm -mm. So stop saying that to, to bless your raccoon possum and pork <laughs> and everything <laughs> else you eat. God says the law still stands and it's in force to this day. You got Malachi? Yes, sir. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I change not. I do what? I change not. And that's why they hate this Bible. Because this Bible ain't flexible. You got to uh, 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 amend your ways right. to what God wants you to do. But a lot of you won't. You want to go in and say, hey, let's amend the Ten Commandments. It ain't no amending the Ten Commandments. <laughs> mm. We ain't finna make no no new uh, jurisdiction and new laws. Yeah. Nah. Matter of fact, give me that where it says uh, Revelation 22. 
what says cursed is the man that uh that added and taken away because mm-hmm. that's what they mm-hmm. think they can do y'all think that your laws trump god's laws or you think that what you implement in your worldly uh jurisdiction and government has any weight on what god says it does not Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 18. Uh-huh. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. Uh-huh. If any man shall add unto these things. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him plagues that are written in this book. You see that? They think that the, 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 the Bible is like their constitution. Yeah. And we can just add or take away as we want. No. God said don't touch it. Mm-hmm. He said, get your hand up off my book. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I wrote it how I wanted it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> when I was done, I was done. I don't right. need your help. You ain't even read all of it yet. How you going to change it? But see, man, give me one more. Isaiah mm-hmm. 55. Mm-hmm. Your ways are not God's That's ways. Right. That's, That's right. what we got to, all of us got to constantly remind ourselves of that. You got that? Isaiah 55 and 8. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 8. Uh-huh. For my thoughts are not your God thoughts. God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. Neither are your ways my ways. Read. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. For as the heavens are higher than earth. As the heavens are higher than the earth. Read. So are my ways higher than your ways. You see that? God's ways are higher than us. He got another level of understanding. So all this stuff we see and taking place on the earth with the different legislation, the different amendments, the different rallies, and co- all of that, that's all great. Guess what? God don't give a damn about it. He said, you're supposed to reform your mind according to me, right. not the other way around. A lot of y'all think you can you can fool God into believing that he want to listen to you. And <laughs> No. God like, no. Do what I told you to do. Go ahead, Cap. Hey, let's pull up that next one. Uh, so now I said that they use some of the most influential young ladies to uh, influence our daughters. So let's read this article. Nicki Minaj barbs react to Megan Thee Stallion Planned Parenthood honor. Planned Parenthood mm. honor. Wow. Go ahead. Scroll up. Megan, Megan Thee Stallion has done a lot in terms of advocacy. Advocacy, go ahead. Both as businesswoman making moves and as an artist just expressing herself. Moreover, Planned Parenthood wow. of Greater New York recently <laughs> announced that they would give her the organization's honor wow. as an in- entrepreneur and social influence in the entertainment world. Hold on, Cap, Cap. Cap, <laughs> hold. Since when do Planned Parenthood give out honor awards? Wow. Honor awards. I've never seen. I've never heard of that before. When do they no. host a music award show? Right, right. What is going on in the world today? Hey, wickedness! What is- the hell? She won the plan. Sin is abounding. Right. Iniquity she, abounds. She got a wow. medal of honor. Yeah, yeah. High level murderer. Hold, hold on. on. It, it gets. It gets better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep reading. It gets Keep better. Reading. It's unclear and or we- worse. <laughs> worse. Go ahead. It's unclear in which form the nonprofit will manifest this honor. All right. A plague. A plague. Oh, Lord. A plague. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, let me give you a plague. Let me smile on the inside. Let me smile on the inside. Let me the Bible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She probably got a plague. Right? <laughs> damn. Uh, <All> right. damn. <laughs> a plaque, a ceremony, or something else. Regardless, Nike's newest collaborator receives Nike. Nike's newest <laughs> collaborator <laughs> receives the praise for being an extraordinary advocate through her music. An advocate of what? Hold on, what is she an advocate of? <laughs> You This is crazy. in his house. I thought growing up, oh, if you man. are an advocate of something, right, it at least got to be a something good. If that's the case, <laughs> every gangbanger across uh, the world is an advocate. should be should be receiving an advocate award for, right. for murdering black people. Right. Like, hey, bro, you did your thing this year, man. You <laughs> right. you, you caused forty deaths. Right. right. You, right. You, you made the neighborhood go down in, in house value, bro. Hey, here you go. Here go your. That's what they're doing. That's right. what they're doing. That's what they're doing. That is what we. Do. That's what we look Bruh, that's what we see. Megan yeah. the Stallion is known for one thing and one thing right. only. Right. This is crazy. 
Hey, Cap, it's crazy because it, they said it's unclear what they going to do. Right. So they trying to come up with an award. Like, <laughs> right, 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 right. we might give you a ring, like a the Super better Bowl or award. A better right. whole award. You done did so much great work to destroy your people right. and kill the children in your community. We got to give you something. You, right. a, you a champ. <laughs> you a champ. <laughs> Hey, yeah. scroll down, scroll down, hey. scroll down a little bit. Wow. Go to where it says an outspoken. An outspoken advocate for women's rights and Planned Parenthood, Megan has used her global platform to draw attention to the organization's mission and work. Oh, That's Lord. all I needed wow. right there. <laughs> She's doing the work she of the, the enemy. Wow. She's doing the work of the devil right oh, there. Oh, my goodness. She's doing the work this of the is devil. Crazy. So do they give her free uh, depot shots and... Free uh, um, uh, she got birth a, control yeah, pills. Yeah, she got unlimited. Unlimited she supply. She got unlimited supply. She go you, home, she got it all. Got the in lyrics. That. Oh, yeah, Tell yeah. Tell them yeah. post the lyrics. Uh, uh, this, full of hey, lyrics. hey, this hey. We got to give y'all warning. Uh, Get your children. Oh, no, we ain't playing the song. We just no, we ain't going to play the lyrics. song, but I'd still, the lyrics. Okay. This is, this is sad. Yeah, yeah. We can't play the song. No, we cannot play the song. And just say, and, and just, yeah, yeah. Just bleep, bleep. Bleep it. Bleep. I won't say it. Who the bleep <laughs> you think you talking to, nigga? <laughs> bleep. Me, nah, nigga. Bleep. <laughs> Come on, uh, nigga. Go. Come on, uh, real. F, nigga. Still can't believe I used to F with you. With ya. F you with ya. Popping plan P. Popping plan B pit. Wait. Plopping plan oh B's because I ain't plan to be stuck with you. Okay, right. I'll read it. I'll read it. Oh, wow. She said, Dear F nigga, can't believe I used to F with you. Right. Popping plan B's because I ain't plan to be stuck with you. Damn. Yes. Wicked as hell. No bomb. That Damn. is some wicked stuff right there, bro. bro. I'm just looking at the lyrics. Yes. The whole song is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wow. ain't even, the content, what? What the good is you getting out of that? Mm. How, as an artist, do you look at that and say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, man, I'm doing it." You should see the comments. This is crazy. Yeah. Hey, hey, Cap. Yeah, hey, hey, people love it. Yeah, this is crazy. Hey, Cap. Yeah, this is going into the the infrastructure, the way that they want society to run. Right. right. They use like in the Willie Lynch, they use the black woman. Yep. They turn the black woman against the black man. Yep. And this is at the ultimate highest. You can see it. The black woman is basically <laughs> set. That, I don't even know what this is. This is crazy. Yep. This is crazy. Hey, Cap, can I bring out a script real quick? Because mm -hmm. um, as you said, they tried to turn the black woman against they the black did. man. So let's show the example of our foremothers in the scriptures. When they tried to turn our foremothers against the black man, how did they operate in righteousness? Go to Exodus 1 and 15. Because they've always been about this. But let's see how our foremothers dealt with it. The book of Exodus, chapter 1 and verse 15. Read. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, uh -huh. of which the name of the one was Shifra, uh -huh. and the name of the other Pua. And he said, When ye do the office of a midwife uh -huh. to the Hebrew woman, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. It said, If you see a son being born, then you kill him. You abort that baby. This is what he said to our foremothers. He said, Hey, look, I need you to be Megan the Stallion and Cardi B. And I need you Damn. to kill the babies Damn. when they born. Damn. Hey, point. jump down to, uh, what is it, verse? Nah, just read on. Yeah. Read on. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Uh-huh. But the midwives fear God. They did what? The midwives fear God. So our foremothers was nothing like the women that you see out here now that's willing to These sell out their own people and murder their own babies. <laughs> Them ain't women. Them ain't women. <laughs> read. But the midwives feared God and did not as the king of Egypt commanded they them. They did not as the king of Egypt commanded them. They weren't going for the uh, for the okie doke. They didn't go with the um, uh, agenda. Read. But save the men, children alive. But save the men, children alive. Why? Because they valued their babies' lives. They knew this was the righteous and holy seed of the Lord. They weren't about that. But we've lost that over time. Mm. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.